，那我先。好，那呃，第一位，好，第一位讲者啊、哦，他是来自于巴基斯坦。那他的主题呢是 Building Policy for Open and Inclusive Governance， 啊、呃，也就是建构开放、含容的治理政策。那各位，如果因为他的影片是英文的，那如果你需要翻译的话，我们在那个呃大会提供的网址上面哈、哦，会有会有翻译。Hey everyone, um, thank you for having me. My name is Iftihaj, and I'm the 好 ，Hey everyone, um, thank you for having me. My name is Iftihaj, and I'm the government innovation lead at Core for Pakistan.、Um, and with today's session, I basically wanted to broadly talk about the open government movement in Pakistan and how can we、uh, use data to strengthen democracy and develop policies which are inclusive and open for all.、Um, uh, so I initially will walk you through what we at Core for Pakistan,、uh, as a civil society organization, have been doing. Um, uh, and then I'll hand it over to Dr. Agif Khan, who will be talking about the broader open government movement inside the、uh, provincial Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government and how are they planning to execute the open government strategy.、Um, so just to give you a brief background, we at Court for Pakistan have been aiming to work towards a, a Pakistan where some of the essential needs of the、um, citizens can be fulfilled efficiently without any hurdles. Um, we envision to see a Pakistan where it takes.、Um, A citizen just a few seconds to browse online and、uh, find out where to get a life-saving drug,、um, or how taxes can be filed easily and business registration is seamless and not、um, embroiled in in a cumbersome process.、Um, uh, we are trying to build a non-partisan civic innovation ecosystem to improve quality of life across Pakistan. Um, and we are trying to bridge the gap of innovation between the private and public sectors. Um, and changing the relationship between the government、um, and citizens,、um, and we are striving towards a Pakistan in which、um, the government works for everyone、um, seamlessly.、Uh, and we want to create a culture where the delivery of government is、uh, completely citizen-centric.、Um, and for、uh, for doing so,、uh, Pakistan, Court for Pakistan, has been working、uh, for the past six years.、Um, Uh, we've been working towards promoting e-government,、um, civic engagement, and open government in Pakistan through a number、um, of programs,、um, especially through our KP Government Innovation Fellowship Program and other initiatives. And under the e-government pillar,、uh, we've been trying to help the government innovate in public service delivery, um, um, improving、uh, government efficiency using digital technologies, and empowering citizens to、uh, to work、uh, with the government to create social impact. Um, since、uh, civic engagement also plays a key part in our efforts to bridge the gap between innovation、uh, between the private and public sectors,、um, and transform the relationship between the government and citizens,、um, uh, we've been working to、uh, foster civic engagement、um, through our civic innovation labs, hackathons, and、um, other events. Um, and lastly,、um, and, and the most relevant to, today, to today's presentation. Um, is our work on open government?、Um, I will be focusing、um, on the opportunities、uh, and challenges we faced in this、um, area specifically.、Um, so we all、um, believe in a government which is accessible、um, to all and empowered citizens、uh, by holding itself accountable, and I, I think this is happening、um, worldwide now. Um, and、uh, we at Court for Pakistan have also been working at different years of the government,、um, and we've also engaged、uh, the society to promote open government practices.、Um, and in doing so, we've developed multiple solutions,、uh, platforms, documents,、uh, and whatever we could、um, that can help promote open government.、Uh, 
Um, and I will be uh, talking about just a few of them today, uh, starting with um, ledges.pk. So ledges um, is basically a scorecard um, which has been plotted on an interactive map that displays um, information about provincial legislators. Um, uh, this portal evaluates um, the legislators' performance um, based on their attendance, uh, their participation in bills, and um, uh, and the re resolution uh, that they've participated in and their um, other activities. Um, and this, again, um, is just a use case that we uh, developed for the government um, to see how um, data can be used effectively to measure uh, performance. Um, in addition to ledges, um, we also co-authored two commitments uh, with the ministry, Federal Ministry of IT for the Open Government Partnership um, under the use of digital theme. Um, we also participated in meetups uh, around uh, other themes, um, which included citizen engagement, access to information, and um, ease of business. Um, and um, since we all know that government entities are one of the main sources producing large amount of data, uh, and these data sets um, and assets, what we, what I'll call them, um, have been locked away in siloed systems in um, very less than ideal formats and uh, very little knowledge uh, within the public sector of um, how to share this data within the departments or with other organizations or individuals um, uh, externally. Um, so to support the government in this um, area and to make data more accessible to the public um, and to the government, we've developed three open data portals uh, for different departments at federal and provincial levels. Um, um, and we've also organized various events, um, trainings, workshops, um, and sessions around open data. And uh, basically, we wanted to uh, convey the message of how uh, this open data can be used meaningfully. Uh, however, the movement uh, towards open government does not come without its challenges. Um, despite all our effort, Pakistan still ranks at uh, uh, 72 out of the 94 countries um, which have been indexed by the Global Open Data Index. Um, and there's no single answer um, as to why, but several structural obstacles which are impeding the progress. Um, for instance, um, despite the development and finalization of this national action plan that I just spoke about a couple of um, uh, slides earlier, it was to be formally approved by the cabinet uh, prior to its submission to the OGP secretariat. Even with the document being ready, um, things have been on standstill. Um, so far, Pakistan has uh, missed four successive um, deadlines for the submission of this uh, next, next, national election plan. Um, and no roadmap has been provided uh, for reviving and submitting um, this again to the OGP secretariat. Um, another challenge that we faced is that most of the organizations, whether public or private, have been uh, working in silos, which is not effective at all. Um, at the same time, access to data uh, remains a huge challenge for organizations, entrepreneurs, citizens, individuals um, who can utilize this data, convert it into inf information and develop application services that can be of um, benefit to the government as well as to the uh, private sector. Um, uh, so to overcome some of these issues, we um, started conversations um, within the public sector organizations and started identifying uh, champions uh, inside the government who can help us promote um, this agenda of open government. Um, and we came to a conclusion that we need to work as uh, a single unit to solve most of these problems. Um, and then uh, another blocker that we observed was the lack of awareness. Um, uh, only with only a very few people within the government and civil society, even the public, um, knew what open government and open data is. Um, so to overcome this challenge, we recently published an open data playbook that explains the basic concepts of open data, uh, especially in relation to the government in a very simple, plain and understandable language. Um, it covers how open data creates value and also provides concrete information on how uh, to produce this, uh, on how to produce open data as well. Uh, we want this, uh, so we basically want this 
playbook to be the primary source of knowledge for the new generation of open data innovators and a, a blueprint um, for how they can participate in strengthening the movement, movement towards um, open governance. Um, we also want to encourage policymakers and uh, the public officers uh, to learn more about um, open government, open government partnership, national action plans, and other open government initiatives through uh, this document. Um, and lastly, we realize the importance of having the, uh, a strategy at the heart of the government uh, that ensures that the open government practices are being followed. Um, and I'm sure Dr. Akif um, will be talking about this in detail, but we work with Dr. Akif and his team at PMRU um, and other organizations and, indi and individuals to draft Pakistan's first open data strategy, um, which will be initially implemented in Khaibar Pakhtunkhwa and uh, getting the strategy approved by the political leadership. Um, fingers crossed. Um, and the province will obviously open doors towards a transparent and accountable government. Um, and with this, I'd like to hand it over to Dr. Akif, who will talk about um, what this strategy is all about and how are they planning to execute um, this in the government. Uh, so thank you and over to you, Dr. Akif. Hi, this is Dr. Akif Khan. I'm a deputy coordinator. Uh, Performance Management and Reform Unit representing Government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is located in Pakistan, Islamic Republic of Pakistan. It's a subnational uh, province, and uh, uh, basically today we'll be we'll be talking about the open government strategy and how this open government uh, helped the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in in achieving the, uh, the vision of open government, open governance, transparency, and accountability. Uh, so basically, Performance Management and Reform Unit is a dedicated unit established in the office of the Chief Secretary, uh, Khyber Pukhtunkhwa. The, the vision uh, is the welfare of the citizen and uh, our methodology is uh, measure to manage. Uh, we are basically dealing with four areas of interventions. Uh, first is the, uh, fostering the culture of quantified performance management, promoting transparency and accountability, improving service delivery, and obviously this is not possible. These achieving these the, uh, the outcome without a use of e-governance and the use of digital technology. Uh, since, since the government has a, a, a strategic vision in the form of good governance strategy, the strategy is comprising of five pillars, uh, and it's very obvious that how KP government is giving importance to the open government and transparency. That's why it's the first pillar uh, of the strategy. Second is the public service delivery, performance um, and accountability, citizen participation. Fifth in, is idea, innovation and technology. So uh, uh, the good governance strategy is it, uh, providing a strategic direction to the government of how and which type of intervention will be uh, will be executed in the, in the short term, the mid term and the long term. Uh, the open government and transparency pillar include the proactive disclosure, access to the government, public outreach and interaction, ease of doing business, transparency in the government processes, and, and the, the, in the establishment of the open data portal by which the high quality data set will be uploaded online. Uh, these data will, in the essence, the data is generated by the government. So this, there will be frequency driven uploading of the information on this data uh, driven uh, portal. Uh, globally, uh, Pakistan uh, ranked at 72 and we are sharing 19% of the data, unfortunately. Uh, however, uh, we believe with the implementation of this open government strategy at the sub-national level and subsequently the replication of the same strategy in the portal and the methodology at the, the, at the national level will considerably improve the, uh, the global ranking of Pakistan as well. Uh, <clears throat> Pakistan ranked at 72 against other countries in the index generated by Global Open Data Index. And majorly, we are publishing the government budget, procurement, national laws, draft registration, weather data. However, we are we are lagging behind in the air quality, national maps, and company registry. So we have uh, in the strategy uh, uh, here in the sub-national level at the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. So we have focused on all these indicators, and we have collected a, a large amount of data, and we will publishing online. And we believe that with this, our national ranking will be considerably improved. Uh, so, what, what is the need for this open uh, government in the inside the governance model? Uh, so, there is a data available in silos. Every department is generating a huge amount of data. 
so there is a need of proactive sharing of data, government data with the citizen, with the researchers, with the data scientists who can who can uh, untap that tremendous resource of trends and patterns to uh, and they provide their feedback to the city, to the government and how how to improve the public service delivery, how to improve the public policy making, and evidence based planning. And obviously, integration and data analysis is one of the key area. We we believe that with this open data strategy and open data government portal, uh, large of a large number, uh, huge amount of uh, uh, effort will be uh, go in a very strat strategic uh, way. Uh, so how to ensure uh, our data is openly accessible? So there's two mechanism. Uh, you have you need an open uh, government uh, policy or strategy. Um, since this is a legal uh, a provision and uh, we believe that uh, every IT system should be packed with the legal framework. So that's why we are first our focus is to establish an open government strategy. And then we, we should have a centralized open repository in the form of open government data portal. Uh, so the strategy, the, the the open. So we are we have drafted a strategy. Uh, the strategy, the the key component of the strategy include publishing government data that is non-confidential in, in fact, as a open data by default. It's the frequency even. So uh, we have identified a list of data sets uh, 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 segregated by the frequency. Either the data will be shared on daily basis, or weekly basis, or monthly basis, or yearly, or quarterly. Secondly, to creating a more collaborative culture with public service delivery and enabling citizen participation. Providing citizens with access to data information the government creates, shares and distribute. And encouraging and facilitating engagement of the citizen with their government. Promoting culture of the go open government is one of the key uh, outcome of this open government strategy. The vision of the strategy, the agent of the, this intervention is driving transparent, open and responsive governance, openly engage with the citizen. Uh, key objectives include developing an online repository to enhance access to the government publication information and services, uh, and uh, leading the creation of new public engagement frameworks uh, to obviously to modernize the way government and the citizen communicate with each other effectively, uh, efficiently, and openly. Uh, creating an open data portal to make data government data available easily and publicly available for using, reusing, and sharing and establishing legal framework in the form of open government strategy. Uh, the benefit include obviously this will improve our transparency, um, uh, uh, improved our link uh, ranking. Uh, since we, once uh, one, uh, you uh, publish the data publicly, so obviously you will count, uh, you are accountable to the citizen. So the citizen feedback loop is very important uh, of how we can, the government can improve their work processes, or, uh, business models and uh, uh, the the work plan, the the workflow of the uh, existing governance systems. Uh, obviously, international compliance of the open government standards is one of the uh, key benefit that we will, we will be aligning with the international organization of how our data portal will be of, the, of our data sharing and the quality of our data will should be of an of an international standards. Cultivating culture of data driven. Uh, uh, data management across government offices. Uh, this will help us in increasing data sharing and this will improve our quality of life uh, and boost economic uh, impact indirectly. Uh, key goals include availability information, collaboration, accountability, citizen participation, improvement in economic infrastructure. While the outcome will be incre increased transparency, essence we are providing more than valuable information to the citizen. This will help us in engaging the citizens uh, in different key areas of intervention. This will enable us the citizen-centric governance in government, where the citizen information, the citizen feedback will be uh, taken part as a part of the policy. Better decision making uh, at, the, at the board end, at the government end, and the citizen end. Increase collaboration and coordination. These guiding principles are basically the principles of the OGP, or Open Government Partnership. So we are aligned with the OGP frameworks. So, so the strategy is more uh, of very much alignment with the, uh, in alignment with the OGP framework. This, this include open by default, timely and comprehensive, accessible and usable, comparable and interoperable, uh, improved governance and citizen engagement, inclusive development and innovation. 
so how how kp government is looking at uh, how the kp government will execute this entire exercise so for that we have governance of the open data strategy this includes seven themes the one the first one is the identification of government offices as the open data provider uh, then we have we developed a comprehensive data catalog with this included uh, uh, more than 1200 data sets uh, uh, we have identified across the, the government uh, Uh, then the provision of technical framework at here to international center to develop a technical framework of what what is the meta data of this uh, data sets and uh, how the data will be shared uh, through a central portal and what will be the specification of the data uh, then there is a training and capacity building plan uh, continue to engage with all stakeholder and encourage the use of open data and uh, guide them and mentor them of how the, a, good, a good quality data can be can be uploaded and shared online uh, evaluate the impact benefit and risk of the open data initiative and obviously uh, notify the strategy uh, there should there should be uh, a governance structure in place which will be running which will be collecting the data which will be publishing the data and we will be using the data we will be receiving the feedback so there is comprehensive mechanism available um, with the kp government so implementation plan uh, include uh, a strategy the development of a strategy that's we believe that the strategy is very important it's legal documents legal framework they provide you legal cover to the the sharing of the open data then uh, the sec- subset of the uh, open government strategy is the development of comprehensive data catalog uh, and then then data de- uh, open data portal uh, and then we will providing training and implementation so this is the, the open data catalog this is the glimpse of the catalog that includes uh, several t- uh, key topics uh, from agriculture to the right to information water and sanitation citizen engagement digital governance revenue and taxation fiscal transparency uh, uh, marginalized communities environment uh, and so on this is the uh, the screen snapshot of the open government uh, portal that we have developed uh <clears throat> so far we have uh, uploaded 1200 data sets uh from the all uh, department in the district administration uh, these uh, 1200 data sets are covered in 48 major topics uh and the way forward we uh, we are basically launching this open uh, this uh, this uh, uh open government strategy is reviewed by core for pakistan is our core uh, joint partner in this uh, uh open government strategy and we're uh, and we're paying technical team have evaluated the strategy uh, uh technically and uh, um then uh, obviously we will be we are planning to have a, 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 a conduct a open government summit in khyber pakhtunkhwa where all uh, the the expert from all over the world will be invited to share their experiences um uh, uh regarding the open government and open governance and obviously then we'll be inaugurating this uh, kp open government portal uh thank you very much how na ganxie jiangzhe tigong de yulu yingpian uh jiangzhe ye zai xian shang can yu wo men nao uh hello can you hear me uh ibek Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hi. Okay. Uh, we have three questions on Slido. Uh, it's about Can you uh watch the Slido? There are three questions on it. The first question is open data need to match with a capability to assign the internet to i suppose uh do pakistan people have easy access to the internet Uh 
OK， 我们大概遇到了一些些技术上多方连线的问题，哦，呃，现场的朋友或者线线上的朋友，如果有提问的话，呃，不管是中文或英文，我们这边都有翻译的人员可以提供协助。Our second question is: Would you like to share more detail about the attitude or any conflict while you are publishing this strategy in Pakistan? And the third question is: In Pakistan,、uh, what application field is most popular? For example,、uh, weather, government budget, or traffic? So we have three questions.、Uh, are you ready to take and answer these questions? Am I audible? Yes, hey, we can、uh, hear you. We can hear you now. Okay, perfect, perfect.、Um, so to answer the first question,、uh, um, yes, we have、uh, internet、um, availability all over the country right now.、Um, we've got around a hundred and sixty-four million、um, active mobile connections, and we've got seventy-six point three eight million active internet users. So that.、Um, uh, I think yeah. The,、uh, so so we've got lots of internet,、uh, active internet、um, users as well as mobile phone connections through which we can,、uh, through which、uh, the the people the the citizens can access the internet.、Um, coming to the second question,、uh, which is about the attitude and conflicts about publishing these strategies in Pakistan. So yes, as I mentioned in my presentation as well. Uh, when you're talking about transparency and accountability,、um, you always face backlash、uh, from the government, from the public、uh, officers, from the bureaucracy,、um, and、uh, almost everyone.、Uh, but then we've got.、Uh, but now the government has started to realize the importance of open government、um, and these strategies on、uh, how it can improve、uh, the the governance in Pakistan. So. Now we've got champions like Dr. Akif himself. He's working in the government, and、um, he has been、uh, one of the core members、um, who's drafted these strategies. So now the things、uh, and the trends are changing.、Um, and the third question is about、uh, what application field is most popular? For example, traffic, weather, government,、uh, budget. So I think、uh, right now we've got.、Um, Um, lots of, I mean,、um, uh, fields in in which the the data is、um, available,、uh, but at the same time,、uh, uh, for example, if we talk about the national boundaries,、um, just like Dr. Akif mentioned in his um, uh, in his talk,、um, those are not available online. We've got budgets that are being published in. Um, in PDF formats, but、uh, they are again、um, not in an open format.、Um, so, so we've got lots of data. We've got traffic. We've got data that is being published in in, in legacy formats, but not in an open、uh, format. But、uh, again, with the introduction of these strategies and these policies that Dr. Akif just spoke about, I think we are on、uh, are on on our way to to publish these、uh, in an open format、um, as well. So I hope、um, I've answered all all the questions now. Thank you, thank you for answering this question. I think open format and data quality is the key to、uh, trigger、yeah. more applications. Okay.、Uh, do we have any questions here? No. Okay. I think we thank you for today's speech. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much.